obtainable in shock. Seven years imprisonment as USA Chicago releases new info for, for forging certificate. Hello guys, welcome back once again to this YouTube channel. You know, many of you guys might think that after establishing the fact that Tinibu forged the document that he submitted to INEC, that that will be the end of it. No. You people should know one thing, that the person that Tinibu took his her, 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 her signatory, being an Arab Daniel, being the president of, this, of uh, Chicago State University, that Tinibu stole his signature and put his forged document, is not going to let the case go like that. And even Chicago State University is not going to let the case go like that because it is a criminal offense. For somebody to take the signature of another person and put in a forged document. In fact, in international rules, it is it is it is very criminal that the person might suffer a whole lot of years. This is just one aspect of the criminal uh, case that will be coming up in the following uh, days that will come. And Nara Daniel, who Tinibu stole his, her, her signature and put in his uh, document, forged document, is going to suit Tinibu in the United States. And there is no defense for Tinibu. And Chicago State themselves, that has been the Chicago State University themselves, we have to sue Tinibu. Because he went and forged a document that they gave to the, to him, a document that never emanated from the university. But he went and he, he went and forged it, and this is a criminal offense, and they're going to file a case. You know, Nigerians don't even know what 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 is happening, or probably what he did, because this is the warning we gave to APC supporters and the criminal INEC chairman Mahmoud Yakub, who went and forced a man with a whole lot of criminal records down the truth of Nigerians. This is just part of what is actually actually happened. I'm, I'm going to tell you, after that one now. Now look at what the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is saying according to the uh, 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 Criminal Code Act and everything. Because you know, Tinibu as a president now, you know, uh, has immunity. That is why he, 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 uh, people are not dragging him to court or probably people are not filing cases against the certificate forgery until he is disqualified. That is when he, the immunity will go off from him. And this is what people are waiting for. People should listen. Let me say, show you what the Constitution of Nigeria said and the Criminal Code. So that you understand the implication of what Tinibu did, that immediately he is disqualified. You will see that there is no two ways that is going to make Tinibu not to spend at least seven to ten years in prison. Now let me tell you what uh, the criminal uh, the code of uh, the criminal code at in Nigeria said. Section as you can see on the screen, section four six eight of the criminal code act in Nigeria, authoring false documents and counterfeit seals. Now it says any person who knowingly and fraudulently utters a false document or writing. Or a counterfeit seal is guilty of an offense of the same kind and is liable to the same punishment as if he had forged the thing in question. This is practically what Nibu did. Now they, they went further to say, state that it is immaterial whether the false document or writing or counterfeit was made in Nigeria or elsewhere. To tell you that the constitution of Nigeria is very clear and it accommodates that even if you forged a, an international document, that you, the, the same penalty will be given to you. This is not me speaking. This is what the Constitution, Section 468 of the Criminal Code Act in Nigeria said. Now, it went for that to say that the term fraudulently means an intention that the, that the thing in question shall be used or acted upon or as genuine, whether in Nigeria or elsewhere, to the prejudice of some people, whether a particular person or not, or that some person, whether a particular person or not, shall in the belief that the thing in question is genuine be induced to do or refrain from doing some act, whether in Nigeria or elsewhere. Now, the same uh, criminal uh, code at section 473 of the criminal code act in Nigeria, making documents without authority. Now, they said any person who with intent to defraud without lawful authority or excuse makes signs or executes for or in the name or on account of another person, whether by procuration or otherwise any or otherwise any document or writing or knowingly offers any document or writing so made signed or executed by another person is guilty of a felony and is liable to imprisonment for seven good years you can see what the constitution is saying that the person is liable for uh, 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 for seven good years in prison if you've ever forged a document you know people don't terrible knows the extent of what he did that is why he said that releasing his academic records is going to cause irreparable damages to him and this is the irreparable damages you know he is actually enjoying the immunity he's getting as a president because as a president nobody can sue you nobody can take you to court until you step down from your political position as the number one citizen of this country that is the only thing that is saving him but in the united states they don't care because they are president they will actually sue Tinibu. Like I said, and the other than being the CSU president, we definitely see him for actually forging her, her signature and putting it in a false document. And the CSU is themselves equally sue Bola Ahmed Tinibu. But aside that, you know, there is a fresh information we are getting. 
and new findings that the Bolatinibu never graduated. That Bolatinibu never graduated from Chicago State University. That Bolatinibu never passed the English qualifying examination at the Chicago State University. He was required to take English 222. He never did. As at the time of graduation, he still needed to complete 15 hours credit load of course, which is the English and mathematics from the quality examination. He never did this to graduate from any USA. Now, this person said to graduate from any U.S. university, you need 120 credit hours. 120 credit hours. Tinibu had only met 105, meaning he, he still has 15 to go and could not have been issued a certificate. This is the reason no certificate was issued to him. He instead went ahead and forged one using an accomplice from the school. You could see the evidence of uh, the credit, the English 222 and everything, that, which he didn't do. You could see where, where it, it has been treated. Yes you have not passed the english qualifying exam you can see where it was written and you can see the second document where uh he has uh the, the 105 hours instead of the 120 hours to complete before your document will be issued to you you know like i said as the day goes by you keep on seeing a lot of information being reviewed a lot of secrets being exposed about the same person and about the same man and this is not what nigeria needs now because this is not speaking well there is no there is no president in this world that is that his identity or our identity is being questioned that his or her educational qualification is being questioned. But look at Tinibu, everybody's questioning it. It has become an international embarrassment. This is what he brought upon himself. Because the time immediately he started rejecting and objecting uh, at CSU from releasing his academic record, that was when a lot of people now understood that this man is hiding a lot of things. After his records were released, it was discovered that this man lied to Chicago State University. Apart from that, he lied to Chicago, Chicago State University and he attended government college in Lagos in the year 1970. He graduated, not even uh, uh, went, he graduated in 1970, only to discover that the school was only created in 1974 yeah this is the way he has been lying under oath and swelling swearing a, a lot of things that are false and that makes no sense that adds nothing or that doesn't even add up like i told you immediately he resigns or step at the you will see criminal cases that will fight against him coming from north south west east and everywhere don't you think that he's saving him right now in nigeria why nigerians and some people are not filing criminal record because he is he having immunity as a president but the United States don't care about his immunity because, like I've said, another Daniel must press a charge against him. And CSU, and apart from that, other well meaning Americans, I, I can boldly tell you this for free, will go ahead to pick up this case. You know, Americans, they have a way, they have law and order. And this is the rule of law that is making their country to progress. You see them, some of them will even sue CSU if CSU doesn't take up this case. On behalf of CSU, you see some of them to act because it's going to be a very big case. You know, this is just the beginning. A lot of you guys might think that just discovering a tenable for the document is enough. It's not just enough. A lot of cases will be unraveled. Well, like I said, I'll keep on updating you guys and I want you guys to drop your comments in the comment section.